viewers. Thank you so much, my sisters, at the G100 wing of Media Arts and Communication. My soul sister Alex, my soul sister Swapna, and so many soul sisters and brothers connected in solidarity. I love the theme of your upcoming event, and I'm sorry I cannot be there in person. But I am here and I hope you sense and feel the energy of connection that I share with you all, wherever I am, wherever you all are. We haven't met, but we share a similar vision, a shared set of values, and we are working tirelessly in kindred spirit as a soul family, in solidarity, walking the same path, hand in hand, hearts connected. And coming back to this summit's theme, I love it, is India woman ready? And I just want to ask each one of you, are you ready? My sister, who's here right now, each one of you, place your hand on your heart and ask yourself, am I ready? And the brothers who are joining us, place that same hand on your hearts and ask yourself, are you ready to support the women around you to be ready as best as they can be? Just as they support you, ardently every day in whatever you do are you ready to extend the support for the women for the women around you your wives sisters daughters mothers friends colleagues anyone around you to be ready to share all the talent the gifts of talent the spirit of service the care and the nurturing and that the dreams that we all harbor as people, as persons, as humans. And each one of us has to ask that question to ourselves. And when the answer is yes, I am ready, then of course, India is ready. Your India is ready. Your country is ready. Your home is ready. Your family is ready. Your G100 is ready. We all are ready. So let's commit to be preparing ourselves in body, mind, heart and souls to be fit, to have fortitude, to be firm in our resolve, to take actions, to be better, to do better and of course commit with confidence. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready sisters to be, be there with you all, to support you all, to learn from you all and to walk on this journey as long as we can. God bless you all. Thank you so much and we continue and we persevere in purpose. Bye-bye. Hi there, I'm Dr. Alex Gurji, a multidisciplinary artist, navigator the world of art, media and entertainment for the last two decades. I'm also a Nigerian actor, a multimedia professional, and a creative leader. And I serve in the G100 as the global chair for G100 Media Arts and Communication, also known as G100 Mac. I'd like to use this opportunity to, first of all, thank my amazing soul sisters and brothers in the G100 Mac India Country Club for putting together this amazing summit. Is India Woman Ready? I think that you all have done truly, truly tremendous work. And I'm sad that I cannot be there with you all in person. However, I do wanna wish you a happy International Women's Day because I know that today is not only a special day to celebrate the contributions of women, but also the impact and to continue to advocate for the work that still needs to be done for us to create the equal world that we desire and that we need. Now, is India woman ready? I want to believe that India is, but I guess today is a great day to have these discussions. And I look forward to learning more and hearing more about the deliberations and the outcomes of today's summit. I do, however, believe that this is not a question only for India. This is a question that we all need to ask in our various corners of the world, our different countries, wherever we are. Is our country woman ready? I'd like to ask myself, is Nigeria woman ready? Well, the truth is 
that there are many parts of the world where women still find it very difficult to have equal footing, to have the right kind of support and opportunities to be able to thrive. However, there are some countries where, of course, they do a little bit of work to sympathize with women. However, as women, we really don't need sympathy. What we really need is equal opportunity. Of course, when we have these conversations about equality and equity, um, there are some you know, people who would say, well, why are we advocating for equality? Because for them, equality means that we're saying men and women are equal. And because men and women, to their own opinion, are not equal, we don't need equality. However, it's important, it is important to share this, that when we advocate for equality and equity, we're not saying that men and women are equal. In fact, men and women are not equal. What we're actually advocating for is a level playing field where men and women have the same rights, the same opportunities, and an equal level field so that we can all thrive. Now, this is not just beneficial to women alone. It is beneficial to men. It's beneficial to our homes, our families, our organizations, and our societies. But let me use this example for those who like to use the logic of men versus women and how equal or unequal we are. Now, I did a little bit of maths in, in high school. So I'll share this simple maths with you and I reason something about this. Now, two plus three equals five. Five times one equals five. Four plus one equals five. Seven minus two equals five. 10 divided by two equals five. 500 divided by 100 equals five. Are you shocked? Well, I can go on and on and on. Six minus one equals five. Now, if you look right at this different evaluations, if you look at the equation, none of these numerical solutions are actually the same. They're very, very different. But if you look closely, their answers, the results are the same. Although they're different in their composition, the results are the same. And that's what it's like between men and women. It is true that men and women are not the same, but we can still have equal opportunity. If we can still have an equal playing field and a level playing field so that everyone can thrive. Now, we can't even have the argument that men and women are the same because women alone are not even the same. We're very diverse. You know, women come in different shapes and sizes. We come in different colors and races. We have different religious beliefs. We even have different personal ambitions. But if we look to the heart of who we are and how we are, we do want the same things. So here is an opportunity for all of us to find ways that we can continue to advocate for women whether in our organizations, in our society, in our homes, because this is beneficial to everyone. Why? Because there is a woman in every home. She could be your mother, your sister, your daughter. She could be a female in your family. So I wanna take this opportunity to shout out to my amazing soul sisters uh, in the G100 Mac in Deer, Country Club for this bravery and the courage to put this event together. I especially want to thank the country tier, Soul Sister Swepner, for just the amazing work that she's been doing. And of course, the Country Advisory Council members, the Denning Partner, and of course, our eminent members in the Inner Country Club. Now, although I cannot be there in person to celebrate and enjoy the time with you, I'm there in spirit. And I thank you all for the work that you're doing. And I also look forward to when we can all get together and celebrate the outcomes of everything that you have achieved today. So once again, I'd like to wish you all a happy International Women's Day. And of course, a great, 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 great summit. Sending you all love. Ciao.
Ladies and gentlemen, namaste. It is an honor to speak on this International Women's Day Summit with the theme Is India Woman Ready? Greetings to Her Excellency Dr. Swapna Ibrahim, the India Chair of the G100 Media and Communication. Dear dignitaries and friends, I'm Dominic F. Dixon, the Executive Director of UNADAP and the Director General of the International Diplomatic Alliance. As we journey into the future, we must ask, is India woman ready? And is the next generation prepared for our global strategic positioning or repositioning? India is advancing in technology, infrastructure, economic growth and in climate action. But true progress lies in empowering women according to the UN SDG 5, which is gender equality. Despite commendable efforts, challenges like gender inequality, it still persists. Prime Minister Modi rightly emphasizes that India's forward movement depends on elevating women and fostering equality. To be truly future ready, we must prioritize women's empowerment, providing equal opportunities, rights and support. Empowered women contribute to flourishing societies and resilient nations. As we focus on India's global positioning, we must ensure the next generation is equipped for global challenges. The youth are tomorrow's leaders and it is our duty to nurture them with skills, knowledge and a global mindset. Education is pivotal. It shapes the next generation's mindset and we must foster an environment encouraging critical thinking, creativity and inclusivity. By doing so, we prepare our youth to be leaders and ambassadors for India on an international platform. Bridging the gender gap in education is crucial. Equal access for young women and young men to quality education empowers individuals and contributes to a stronger, more resilient nation. In conclusion, I appreciate the work done by the G100 team globally in envisioning a future ready India and addressing gender challenges and ensuring quality education in keeping with the UN SDG 4. Let's build an India that is future ready and woman ready, where the next generation plays a pivotal role in shaping a great nation's destiny. Wishing you a blessed International Women's Day with Proverbs 2135. A woman is clothed with strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of her future. Thank you. Jai Hind. Namaste. She is the political leader, the first prime minister. She is a Nobel Prize holder. She is an inspiring girl leading other girls for education. She broke the gender barriers and she became the first Olympic medalist for boxer. She is an Indian woman. This Indian woman is inspiring not only for India. This Indian woman can inspire the whole world, women and men. Indian woman on this day, we mark her challenges because the challenges she was able to overcome is what really mean the real success for every single woman. Indian woman, the role model for all women to learn how overcoming challenges is really inspiring to be able to lead in political, economical, social, and in all levels in their lives. Indian women on the International Women Day, I tell you, this is really the time where women in India can be leaders and they can even success more. Hello 
sisters, I'm Kamal, and I wish you a happy Women's Day and an invigorating and highly productive D100 Summit. Is India woman ready? Is this a trick question? Because if India isn't woman ready already, then India is only half ready to lead on the global stage. Now, don't get me wrong, the spotlight is firmly focused on India and deservedly so. But this isn't the Elizabethan era we're in, where boys act out the roles of women. This is now, and in the motherland, where the ground is fertile, women are born ready. Yet the reality remains that the air needs to be cleared of the smog and regain its visibility with unpolluted ideas. But how do we do that? Well, I think it begins with the dynamics we create in our own homes with family and friends. The choices we make when we buy or consume, how we prioritize our own well-being and how we ensure that that translates into our workplace. How we hire, who we create for, our contribution to lessening the load for multitasking women, how we make things much more easily accessible for each other, and how we genuinely value our own worth. But the bottom line is if India wants to shine effectively and with authenticity, there is only one choice, and that's to tip the scale today, to strike that balance and regain that equilibrium. Because ready or not, here she comes. as the Ghana Country Chair for Media Arts and Communication of the G100 Wing. And I would like to congratulate the India chapter for G100 MAC for taking up this important discussion on is India woman ready? As the world leans towards a lot more females in leading positions, it is clear that India and its women hold strong capacity to take up bold positions in varied capacities. It is time, now more so than ever, for young women and older women in varied sectors to position themselves to take up leading places in, in India's society. I'd like to use this opportunity to congratulate the entire team led by Swapna Abraham and to encourage young women who are members of the G100 Media Arts and Communication Wing India chapter to take this opportunity to fill key and leading positions in varied sectors, because certainly India is woman ready from all that statistics and history proves. Thank you. Hi, my name is Frankie Picasso and I am the Director of Communications for the Media Arts Wing of the G100. For the past few years, I've been working with young people in India and regardless of the patriarchal society that they live in, they are finding ways to show that they can no longer be held back by the ties that continually try to bind them. So many women have their masters and their PhDs in India, but instead of being able to use those and use their brain power, it's just a ticket to a good marriage, not something that they really want to have happen. So as enlightened and spiritual a society as India has been and is, is definitely backward when it comes to gender equity. But I see women shedding off their old views and not even thinking about marriage. They want freedom. They can taste it like a man running in the desert who's craving water. And so many women are joining these ranks there's 86.18 million women between the ages of 24 and 54 who I feel are going to explode or implode uh, as India knows it to be right now. I think women are ready, willing and able in India to become who they were meant to be. And we fully support them in that journey. about of India is that in the year 2015 women have 
more access to education, which is essential for the group of women and a better quality of life. But more love changes are necessary in favor of women's rights. I'm Janet Riff from Argentina, journalist and coach of You Are Medicine Emprendedora. My love goes to India, woman with great humility. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Rosé Mende. I'm the founder and director of Komorevi Solution, that is a mentoring and advisory firm for women. I'm also a partner of Academy We, a Power Up Ambassador, and a leader in a Lean Circle. I'm very, very honored to be in the G100 Indian Women Ready Summit. Thank you for having me here. Equity, gender equality, and women empowerment are fundamental principles that shape not only our workplace, but also our societies at large. As a career mentor for women, I've witnessed firsthand the transformative power of empowering female talent to step into leadership roles in corporate and international spaces. It's not just about diversity for the sake of representation. It's about harnessing the unique perspective, talents, and strength that women bring to the table. When women are given this opportunity to lead, they bring this unique perspective, innovative ideas, and contributions that drive positive change and progress. This journey is not without the challenges. From systematic barriers to unconscious biases, women have often have healed battles on this path to leadership. That's why it's essential to create rooms where all women, regardless of background, circumstances, have the support, resources and opportunities they need to succeed. Invest in initiatives that provide the women the skills, confidence and opportunities they need to reach their full potential. Break down barriers, challenge stereotypes and advocate for gender inclusive policies and practices. Women support and is woman is key. When we lift each other up, celebrate each other's successes and offer support and guidance, we create a powerful network of allies who are driving change and shaping the future. So let's continue championing the gender equality path and make places where our voices are here. Let's go, we are celebrated. Now turn.
Sometimes I see. 